First, I just wanted to say it was really hard getting that really gay pink color for the opening credit for this video. I hope everybody appreciated the effort I went to to do that. That's right. I'm drinking my own urine. Want to make something out of that? Go ahead! My psychiatrist has already tried. On with the video. During the last 40 to 50 years, Christians have been increasingly tolerant of homosexuals. Just like Jesus said they should be. Now, whereas homosexuality used to be a felony in every state, for exactly the same reason that a black man marrying a white woman was also a felony, um, referred to as sodomy, it has now been decriminalized and homosexuality is allowed to be openly expressed in public. Yes, and it is also perfectly okay these days to also be openly black in public. This is called progress! And while Christians are becoming more tolerant of homosexuals, homosexuals are becoming increasingly intolerant of us. Uh, no, it is not you that they are intolerant of. It is your abusive behavior that they are intolerant of. And not only homosexuals find your behavior intolerable. Heterosexuals and other sexuals also find it abusive. It is not intolerant. When somebody you're punching in the face says, Hey, please stop punching me in the face. I have rights. That is not an act of being intolerant. <sighs> They've agitated for laws giving them special protection available to no one else. That's fascinating. State what this special protection is. What is that called? Cite the law that gives homosexuals special protection. They've pressured judges and unelected bureaucrats to rule that Christians have to submit their deeply held beliefs to homosexual preferences. And I'm sure if you only had the dime, you would have included some examples of that in your video, which you did not. By the way, pal, speaking of homosexual preferences, you do know there's a hell of a lot of Christians out there who are homosexual, right? And I have a suspicion that just makes you all hot and sweaty. And now, even supporting an amendment for traditional marriage is enough to get you fired from the company that you helped create. No. Christians have tried in direct disobedience to God. You mean in direct disobedience to the people that claim to be hearing what the gods want people to do, right? And why is it? It is almost always batshit crazy people that the gods talk to. To compromise with homosexuals. Compromise with homosexuals! You know what flashed through my brain when he said this in his stupid idiot video? A couple lesbians, and I'm walking, and I'm delivering a pizza, and I knock on the door, and they answer the door, and they're naked. And I say, hey ladies, let's compromise, I'll just fuck one of you. Not funny, huh? Hmm. Well, okay. But homosexuals are completely uninterested in compromising with us in return. Compromise. You want homosexuals to compromise with the theo-fascist bastards who are persecuting them. Just how is that supposed to work? Just what? Are homosexuals supposed to give up to make you happy and make you stop persecuting them? Just what the bloody fuck is this compromise supposed to be? What they've done is they've turned it into what is called a zero-sum game. 
That's right. You know, you fascist evil bastards have been persecuting and brutalizing and abusing and even killing homosexuals for a hell of a long time. That is therefore a win-lose for you and fascists winning and the homosexuals and people that you believe or just hope are homosexuals lose. Win-lose. Zero sum. Homosexuals have now started mostly to bitch and complain. They want to change that. So instead of you assholes losing and them winning, they want to end the fucking game. Win-win. Nobody has to lose. You know how to do that? Stop persecuting people. A zero-sum game, or competition, simply means that in order for one side to win, the other side has to lose. Yes, and for centuries, you evil bastards have always played that game where you win and whatever group that you have picked to be the enemy at that moment in history has to lose. Well, this group, the homosexuals, and the people who support them like me and a bloody hell of a lot of other people, you're no longer allowed to do that. They're bitching and complaining, and I'm stepping in, and I'm helping them bitch and complain. And the game you don't get to win anymore they don't get to lose anymore everybody gets to win how is this so fucking terrible for you and your cult and there's no in between and compromise by definition is impossible there he goes again with this compromise what the bloody hell are homosexuals supposed to compromise in or with or through or between or whatever the hell and barring silly jokes. Just what the bloody hell are the homosexuals supposed to give up? And what the bloody fuck are they going to get in return? Just what must they do so that you and your evil fascist bastard cult stop abusing them? What is this compromise? I would very much love to hear what this fucking compromise is. It's time for Christians to resume obeying God and His Word. And okay, I give up. Christians are supposed to believe that Jesus was or is a God. Please, show me anywhere in the Bible where Jesus said homosexuals had to be treated differently than non-homosexuals. Where in the Christian Testament is that located? I'd dearly like to know. And to recriminalize homosexuality. Why? Why decriminalize being homosexual? Why not just dig another step forward and decriminalize wearing mixed fibers? Why not decriminalize eating lobster? Why only pick homosexuals to decriminalize? Why make that criminal once again? When the Bible states that a hell of a lot of things that Christians are doing these days are against the rule of the Abrahamic uh, evil monsters that created all of these laws. Why pick just homosexuals? Please explain that to us. Outlaw it again. The only way to do this and keep it beyond the reach of activist judges and unaccountable bureaucrats is to create a constitutional amendment such as this. Proposed Amendment 1. The United States of America is a Christian nation with Judeo-Christian ethics, morals, principles, and values. You mean you want an amendment to the United States Constitution that is known to be false, full of lies, and is completely untrue. Why the bloody hell would you want to do that to the United States Constitution? It makes no sense at all. 2. The practice of homosexuality in the United States of America and in all its territories and possessions, and in all its states, counties, and cities, shall be a felony punishable by 10 years in prison at hard labor. How the anal fuck, no pun intended, is any law enforcement officer out there supposed to know who the anal fuck, still no pun intended, is and is not homosexual?
If you're going to round up all the homosexuals and put them in a concentration camp, how are you going to know if they're homosexual or non-homosexual? What if they're bisexual? What if the homosexual happens to be three or four years old? You put little toddler homosexuals into forced labor concentration camps? What the bloody fuck happens to homosexuals after 10 years, they come out of the labor camp, they're still homosexuals, you round them up again and you put them back in the concentration camp for another 10 years? Just when are people supposed to be put in concentration camps being arrested? Do you start that when they're 10 years old? 8 years old? Do you do that when they reach puberty? You just round up all the little tiny homosexuals and you put them in a concentration camp where all the big, strong, adult homosexuals are. I bet that just makes you so hot and horny, doesn't it? I bet it does. Seriously, I fucking bet it does. And remember, only vote for those who promise to adopt this amendment. I'm sorry, but Adolf Hitler is dead already. That's fascinating. 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 It's fucking... That's fascinating. Name. State. Fucking A. Compromise. You want compromisation. Fucking A.